Hi everyone, Alexander the Dad here with another how-to video on how to run a custom crosshair for free and not have any impact on performance in your game whatsoever. So you can run it full screen and it doesn't add any um, latency, it doesn't, add, um, doesn't decrease your FPS. Um, you do this through a tool called um, RTSS and RTSS Crosshair um, executable plugin with it. So this is what it looks like. So it's basically just the ability to put a character anywhere you want on the screen, any color. So in this, in this situation, I'm using a plus character and you can set the color, you can set the size, you can move it around so it's, it's, it's dead on um, in the middle. Um, yeah, so it's, it's quite customizable. You can use a dot, you can use a zero, uh, an O character if you want to use those. So anything on your keyboard basically. Right, so, so to set this up, what you need to do is you need to have two things, as I say, you need uh, RTSS and you need the RTSS Crosshair executable, which both are free to download. Um, so you will need RTSS River Tuner Statistics Server, which, is, which I'd recommend either way, whether you run a cross, custom Crosshair or not, because it does frame pacing and it will um, help your aim anyway with frame pacing. Uh, by controlling your FPS, uh, setting your FPS limit here and then um, evenly spacing out the frames. So uh, that really helps with muscle memory for aiming. Um, and then RTSS Crosshair plugin. So this, this is what adds the character to anywhere on the screen. And this is what controls the color, the size and the font, uh, the position and things. So you need to go and download these two things. So I'll show you where you can get them from. Um, so RTSS you can download um, from this web page. All you need to do is Google RTSS download and it's, it'll be the top one, the GRU 3D. So click on that and then download the latest version. So just click on the download button. Um, and then once that's downloaded, you can then just uh, right click it, extract all. That will um, open uh, we'll create a directory for it and then you just double click the the installer and run the installer. I've already got it installed so I don't need to run it again. Um, and then you want to grab the um, the RTSS Crosshair EXE, another free tool. Um, and if you want, just Google RTSS uh, Crosshair like that, and it's the Lazy Slavic one. Thank you, Lazy Slavic. And then you click on the Releases button down here, Releases link, and then you click on the RTSS Crosshair.exe to download it. Um, and that should download it to your Downloads folder. There we go, it's added another one here. Uh, what I normally do is um, I normally move it to like somewhere like my Documents, so because sometimes you end up uh, cleaning out the Downloads directory. So stick it somewhere that it's not going to ever get deleted. Um, so I just stuck it in my documents folder, right click and I pinned it to my taskbar so it's always down here available um, if, I, um, if, I, if I want it on or off. Um, if you want to turn it on you just start the app, if you want to turn it off you just close the app. That's all you need to do. That's, the end of the so that's why it's quite useful just having it on your taskbar. Alright, so there, I'll put those two links in the description as well so you can go straight there so you don't have to Google. Um, yeah, so downloaded that, we've installed that. So the next thing to do when, once you've installed RTSS is uh, create a profile for your game. And you create a profile by clicking add and then going to find the, um, the actual game executable. So for Fortnite, that's under C program files, Epic, oh, hang on, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and there it is. So you double click that and that will add a new profile, new profile to RTSS, River Tune Statistics over again. Um, once you're in here, I, I, I like, as I say, using the frame pacing functionality. So I set my frame rate limit to the same, hertz, the same um, number as the hertz of my monitor. So I'm running a 360 hertz monitor and I know my PC can run 360 FPS. If you are, if you can't run the same hertz FPS as hertz you're struggling to get say if you're running a 240 hertz and you can't really you're going to get like 150 
um, FPS, then, then I'd recommend you actually downgrade your monitor hertz and then match it to your uh, frame rate limit. So 240 hertz, 240 FPS, 360 hertz, 360 FPS. So matching them really helps with the smoothness. So anyway, yeah, so you can select that there. It's actually got a point so I can get really accurate if you right click in this box and um, choose, choose the exact amount. Right, so the next thing to do for the RTSS crosshair, once you've got it up and running, is you'll need to set the uh, configuration as I've got it here. Um, that needs to be in the top left corner, uh, like that. Um, you need to click on Raster 3D to set the fonts. I recommend Arial, Regular, and either 22 or 14, depending on how big you want the plus to be, the, the crosshair to be. Uh, 14's quite small, 22 is probably as big as you can go. Um, I can show you how to do it with 14. So, so we set it to 14. If you want to change the color, you click on the palette and we can just change the color here. And then it's orange. Um, the plus will be orange. Um, I'm going to reset this so you know what it will look like when you start. So if I press con right control, there are two control buttons on your keyboard. Normally one on the far left and one on the right. You need to pre press the right one, press and hold control, and then use the number pad hopefully you've got a number pad, to control uh, where exactly it moves on the screen. So I'm gonna, st I'm gonna go back to defaults and you can see in the top left corner, it's, it's moved it right, right behind my logo there. Um, by default, it will be in the top left corner. Um, so yeah, if you want orange, if you want red, I, I normally go with red. And as I say, you need to click on raster 3D, so aerial, regular, and the size, okay? So the next thing we need to do once this is open and we've set this up is we need to go into the game and we need to move that plus in the top left corner right now into the middle of the screen. So to do that, we press and hold control and we press the five on the number pad. That will put it approximately in the middle of the screen. Then we need to fine tune it with the eight, four, six, two numbers on the number pad holding control. So I press control. If I want to go up, I press eight keep pressing eight until it's lined up with the middle and then press four to go left. There we go, smack in the middle. So that's 14 point, that's the size at the moment, 14. I think that's what I'm, I've set some other people up with, but I quite like it a bit a little bigger, so I normally run um, 22. But 14, 14 is quite accurate, right in the middle. Um, yeah, and it'll just stay there. So once you're happy with the position, you then need to save that position to the registry. And to do that, you press hold the right control and then you press period key on the number pad. So the dot. So press that and, that, and then whenever you save and whenever you um, close the crosshair um, executable and then reopen it, it will remember where, you put, where it needs to go on the screen. So when you start your game up, you open the game, or you can start the crosshair thing first. And then, um, and then open your game and it will be there right in the right place. Some other little things to do in RTSS. Um, just if you are going to use it as a frame rate limiter, uh, make sure your game is set to unlimited because you don't want to run multiple um, frame rate limiters at the same time. So if you're going to set it in here, um, make sure it's unlimited in your game. If you're not going to set it in here and just set it in your game, stick a zero in here and then it will bypass the frame rate limiter. Um, so I'm going to run it. I'm going to run the, the smooth, um, good for muscle memory frame rate limiter of RTSS. Um, you also need to make sure it starts with Windows and there's a couple of things. Uh, this is, by the way, uh, setup, by the way, is profile dependent. So you'll need to click on the profile that you want, click on setup. So there are a couple of little things in here that you want to do, probably start minimized, scroll down the bottom, uh, untick, untick the enable passive waiting because you don't want that. Uh, make sure the frame rate limit is probably on async and you can untick the encoder service, you don't need that one and the enable benchmark by. So just those two that I've got selected here you want with async, it's typically the thing. Um, if your game already has the ability to put reflex latency markers in it, which Fortnite does, you do not need this, so you can untick the inject as well. Um, and that's pretty much it. 
pretty much it. As I say, if you want to, um, if you want to move this, um, yeah, oh, there's one thing I forgot. Um, you want to make sure that the on-screen display zoom is pulled far to the left, so it's not zooming at all. But yeah, you can change colors if you want. It's gone orange. Orange is quite nice. Uh, you could also put um, a shadow around it if you if you want a bit more contrast. But I tend to find those a bit blocky, so I typically don't don't do that. But it's quite good for getting a better contrast if you're if you're struggling to see the contrast. Um, that's probably the most accurate, and for me, red is probably the most standout one when you're in a gunfight. Um, that's it, really. That's it. Um, what I'll probably do is I'll probably put some more instructions on my Discord, so if anybody wants help with this video at all, just um, join my Discord, ask a question in, in chat, and um, I'll be happy to help. And that's it. Alright, bye for now.